I've just overheard Rich talking about his kit and I've got to be honest, I've got a few worries. Having looked at it, having heard about it and having seen the longevity that some of these bits of kit have got him through, I think it might be time for an upgrade. I'm going to go and grab Rich and take him to the shop. I'm in particular thinking about his pads, his cricket helmet and his bag. But let's grab him, let's take him in the shop, let's see what we can help him out with. Let's go. Welcome to the shop. Uh -huh. So here we are, Rich. Yeah. Welcome to the shop. Uh, we've had a look at your kit bag. Yes. We've had a look at your kit. We have. We've got a few thoughts on that, haven't mm, we? We um, have. I think what I'm going to do is showcase you into a few options on a few bits of kit for you to have a little try on. Okay. Uh, and then we'll catch up with you after you've done that and see what you like, what you don't like. Brilliant. Okay. I'm going to leave you to that. I've popped a few bits out. So grab those, have a try on. We'll have a little chat outside. Sounds good. So we've got Rich in the shop. You've seen his kit. We've seen his kit got some options for him. What we've done in the shop today is picked out some individually selected items that suit him, so left-handed setup, um, size-wise, etc., etc. So it gives him a real fundamental choice that's gonna suit him. Um, this time of year, as you'd imagine, is our busiest time of the year, heading into the season. We got fully stocked uh, across lots of major brands. So bats, pads, gloves, shoes, helmets, bags, protective kit, coaching equipment, balls, you name it, we've got plenty of stock. All it is is really over to you. If you need something new for the season ahead, if it's not going to get you through the season, a bit like Rich's kit, come in and see us. We can help out, get you trying it on, make sure it's right for you, get you set up ready for the season ahead. New Mr. New Balance. They're really lightweight. Lots of protection. Comfortable to have a little run in. At some point, somebody's going to hit you on the pads. Struggle to get around the leg. Oh, now those. I wonder how that will fit at the back of the head. Sits in a strange spot for me. Oh, yeah, that is a bit weird, especially if I'm looking up to, to face a spinner. Dry. Nice little gun and more number. Oh, slide it in. Oh, that is very tight. Now, picked up the wrong size here, ladies and gents, because that's what I would do. Yeah, you've got better side comfort here. Ridiculously tight for me. Get good toe box. Good news, they feel very similar to last year. Right, I've been in the shop. I've tried loads of bits and kit on that Chris has put out for me. It was good fun, I enjoyed it, but I guess we're down down to the real nitty gritty. Did I make a change or did I not? Well, Chris, we've got a bag. Obvious place to start, I think, with the yeah. bag. Um, real standout for me and something you alluded to very early on, uh, you've got the old hold all, but you also take a second bag to every game and every training session, generally with other bits of clothing and other bits of kit in. Yeah. Something it sounds like you don't want to do. So very early on, that for me was a, was a potential change option for you um, to get more capacity so you yes. don't have to take two bags. So lots of choice for you. We've showcased some of that in the shop for you. Um, I mean, ultimately, you've got a real major choice on whether you go wheelie duffel or a wheelie or a duffel. Yeah. Choice factors there, your duffel bag, shoulder straps, something that you can carry, um, adds a bit of weight through the back, particularly as you're going up in capacity. Uh, wheelie duffel, obviously you've got the option there to carry, but also then opens up with the wheels, um, one end, nice carry, away you go, pulling it along. Potentially that then becomes a bit of a choice of what ground you're on, how easy that is. Uh, but the wheelie bag then is a little bit of a change for you in terms of what you've potentially been using for that long term. Uh, but opens up a nice usable space for you. Um, key thing for us was really to like, offer you more space, whether that be a, a large compartment or whether actually that be a lot of pockets. Yeah. So to just give you a bit of, of that, yeah. something like this we sort of showcased as a, a larger duffel bag. We did. Um, huge sort of open space from the top here with your back compartments in the back, helmet on the top, loads of space in the middle but you've got lots of pockets going on to really open up different areas for your kit mm. so a sort of standard size adult duffel bag option yeah loads of choice or potentially throwing a little bit of difference at you which is your sort of standard again size adult wheelie bag option yeah shoulder straps if you wanted to carry over the shoulder rather than on the back again lots of space compartment at the top to put other bits in shoes or valuables on the end and then a huge space to give you some choice there to put everything in including losing that second bag getting it all in one to hopefully ease that issue 
Um, so we showed you lots. Yes. Where have we gone? What have we decided? Well, I went with, I've had a duffel, uh, sorry, yeah, duffel before, and I like the idea of all the compartments. Um, but for me, adding clothes into the, the compartment bit, lots of compartments, I thought might be a bit tricky. I've had a wheelie bag in the past, and I'm thinking to myself, I think with the big compartment option for me is a really good idea, bottom and top. I feel like I'm gonna get all my clothes in the top, which is another benefit to this, which, which is what I wanted it for. And I think I'm gonna get all my, um, my cricket equipment in the base. So I'm really, I'm thinking that's my option. Um, so as a customer here, I'm thinking that this bag has now seen its time. And for me, that's a really good time to say, I think I need a new bag, which is what I've done. So the, I've got two new pairs of gloves and as a customer, um, I'm gonna go in the shop and I'm gonna say to Chris, I've got two new pairs of gloves. I don't think I need to change those. I'm quite happy. But Chris said, have you seen what else we've got? And this is what he told me. And I think it's important to, to give you those options because as you say, the gloves are gonna hopefully suit you through the season, but if they don't and you get to a point halfway through the season where we need to replace them, just showcasing what those options are, I think is important. So what we've got there is a style of glove with the uh, slight split fingered uh, style yeah. and then also a uh, level of protection the, you're happy with, yeah. Um, and I'd probably class that as somewhere in that standard middle ground for an adult batting glove. Um, we can clearly go up or down from there, so I think it was important to showcase you something that sits slightly above that in terms of quality. So something like the Kookaburra top end glove where you get a lot more split fingered options, um, so you've got a lot more flexibility in terms of your, in terms of your um, uh, feel there on your protection side, and then also on the quality of the palm, you've got the Pittard's leather, which is fabulous in terms yeah. of that comfort factor and that longevity. That's a real comfortable glove. You've got the, uh, the really top end uh, comfort and, and, and style there from uh, the wrist strap. So they're more expensive, but they're an upgrade option that may or may not suit. And it's just showcasing you what the option there is. And then we also have something similar uh, in terms of price point and quality level, um, from the Grey Nichols Test 750s, but actually a different style of protection. So actually you've got the sausage finger there in comparison to your split finger. So again, it's just showcasing you, to you an, a different option if and when you need it. Cool, right, guess what team? They're going in my kit bag. Well, I know this needed changing, so we've got no <laughs> choice. Um, so it's the helmet, she's, she's seen better days, she's been around a long time, she's done a good service, but she is now at the end of her time. Um, which means I need a new one, which of course is over to the shop. And I tried lots on, I had lots of fun. Um, what were my options? Why did you give them to me? There's, I mean, you've, you've, you've obviously highlighted the real reason we've got to replace it and, and yeah. that sort of um, safety standard now, um, which has changed over the, the time that you've had that. And, and every helmet now across every brand that we stock in the shop obviously now conforms to that current legislation and that current safety guidance. It doesn't mean every helmet's the same. And that's where that choice factor in terms of getting something that suits you, particularly changing a bit of kit like that yeah. after that longer period, getting you trying it on, making sure you've got that comfort, feel, visibility, etc., is always key. And every brand is gonna be slightly different on that. We can take a measurement, quite clearly that gives us a good starting point, but from there we need to now jump into the helmet. So a okay. couple of options that we showed you. Um, showed you the Grey Nichols helmet, um, early on. Yeah. Now that, in an adult size, is a fairly standard and typical kind of fit for you. But actually, particularly as we sort of line those two up, we can already notice a little bit of a difference in terms of uh, peak of the grill, um, sorry, the peak of the helmet, where the grill sort of lines up, that visibility in terms of both front on for you watching the ball, but also in terms of that peripheral, feeling enclosed or not. Um, so quite quickly, I can imagine you noticed a bit of a difference between what you had been used to and those first couple that you tried on. Yeah, so the one, I, the big, one of the bigger differences I found was you had, um, you had this little adjuster at the back for, for size. Um, yes, the grill was massively different for me and, and did get in the way, but knowing it's there, and of course it is very fixed. Uh, you've got the complete set all the way around and some even 
the complete grill all the way. And some even go further around as well. So I noticed that. I, and again, when you put all of the different helmets on, they are all fit slightly differently. Some a bit more at the front, some a bit more at the back, some quite snug around the side. So for me... And, and, and different weight? Different feel in terms of weight? He, much. I mean, this is super lightweight. The old one was super light. These now all seem to be much, much heavier and yeah. much more dense. I yeah. guess for the for the it's that protective reason. element as yeah. well as as well as everything else. I mean, we've we've showcased a Grey Nichols one there. We got Rich to try on a Grey Nichols, a Kookaburra, and a Gun and More, yeah. as well as Missouri. And yes. I think just to give you that full uh, opportunity to get a real idea about what is going to suit you best, and that's something we'd always say to customers, particularly with cricket helmets. Um, if you can, get yourself into a shop and try them on because actually one is going to lend itself to you and your feel and your. Um, head much better than others. Yeah. Which I, lead, sorry, go on. And I was going to say, because that for me was was absolutely spot on, because this one felt different to the, the Kookaburra helmet I tried, and it felt very different to the uh, the Gun & More helmet I tried. And the one that I chose, of course, Well, was... that leads us into the one that I think you've, uh, you've selected, which yeah. is the Missouri T-Line. It is, yeah. Um, which we would suggest is probably one of our, our, our best sellers and, and top uh, cricket helmet sort of opportunities for people. It's a, it's a really, really, really good helmet. Um, good level of protection, uh, really enhanced level of protection, um, great setup with the grill. So as long as we get the right size on, on for the individual setup, you get a great vision of the ball all the way from the bowler's hand through to the bat. Um, hopefully you found that when you tried it on and that's the reason you've selected it. It ticks all the boxes. Yeah, it definitely ticked all the boxes for me. Very comfortable, uh, good chin strap. Felt it came further around the head, sat really well on the head. Um, and again, you know, you've got the, the sort of the, the difference and distance between peak and grill, which is absolutely fine. But this will definitely go in my kit bag. So Rich, thigh pad protection. Mm -hmm. um, I think we've established through the course of these videos that you are quite old um, school. Yes. Um, quite old school in your kit. Um, no. and, and this is pretty much a prime example, I think, in terms of your thigh pad protection. However, it still does what it says on the tin. It does. Um, but protection has moved on slightly, <laughs> uh, shall we say. Um, and we showcase that to you in the shop. Again, yeah. we stock a huge array of brands. And, and particularly the more modern style, which offers you not just the outer thigh pad, but the inner thigh pad protection as well. So the Aero Strippers, Missouri do a, a version of that, as do Kookaburra New Balance DSC. So the, the choices are endless, yeah. um, but they're offering you both protection on both legs now. Um, really nice and lightweight protection and comfort all rolled into one. Uh, I still think you uh, have got great usage from this and can still get it. So. I think that's still a great option for people and the standalone thigh pad is still there but we, we do sell more of the more modern style but I've got a feeling this maybe suits you a little bit better in terms of your setup. Um, well for me it, this one is about uh, this one's about having a budget and what I'm going how I'm going to spend my money um, and this works it has high levels of protection I liked the other the, the two thigh pads I like the outer and the inner for me I like that that's, that's pretty cool uh, I like the, particularly the Gun and More version. I, I liked. I've got on well with that one. Um, but I'm going to use my money and spend my money in a slightly different way and in areas that need greater help, as you can see already. See. Um, so this one for me goes back in the bag. Ladies and gents, I'm getting rinsed for being old, and these pads. They're old. I've had them ages, and we've got a few bits of wear and tear on them. Uh, they've they've seen me a good. They've seen me for a few good summers. Uh, they're a bit dirty as well around the front. Chris, they needed replacing, didn't I th they? I think they did. I think we were both on the same page quite early here, weren't we? Yeah. Um, and actually, there were some bits out of that that you've really liked. So the fact they were quite lightweight, clearly very comfortable over that period. So we looked at trying to get you something similar. Um, but obviously, as you've alluded to, they're quite old, so pads have slightly changed over that period of time. So what we did, we get you in the shop and we tried to give you something similar to, to those in a similar price point, similar quality level, um, but also trying to offer you maybe some upgrade options in terms of what is the next level and, and what those look like. So ultimately, they're going to offer a little bit wider protection, particularly on the side of the legs, yeah. um, so it covers a little bit more for you. Um, in terms of the comfort factor, maybe the straps are a little bit wider. 
um, slightly aligned differently. So it's just trying to make sure what you're going to end up in gives you that comfort protection and feel factor that you've grown accustomed to and obviously want moving forward, um, but obviously also within your budget. So lots of choice. You've tried a load on. I, I think did. we've made a decision. We did make a decision, didn't we? We went for some uh, New Balance pads. We went for the New Balance so Heritage. So you've gone the New Balance Heritage? Yes. Um, so why have you chosen these ones over all of the others? Clean and classic, wasn't I? That's just, just up my street. Um, so I liked the knee roll protection on these and I've found knee roll protection on quite a lot of pads have been a bit average. In here, you've got a little bit of extra something in a sort of a cup in the top of the knee roll for the knee pad, which I think is great. Um, floats around the side of the leg. Uh, you can see it was bendy. I gave it a bash when I was in there. I like the cane, which meant it was really comfy. Um, I like the double straps or the double thickness of the straps. Very, very good pad. I, I like those. So for me, they went straight in my kit bag. I think a good choice. Rich, this is all you. Ha <laughs> ha, it's the box. Protecting the crown jewels, that's going in. So Rich, I think we've established you as a batter spinner yep. and set you up with a shoe for exactly what you needed for those disciplines in the game, the XPF 22. Yep. Um, and I think it's safe to say it worked for you for the, for the season. I really like these. I thought they were very comfy, um, made in conjunction with Rashid Khan. He's really good, I'm not. But uh, you know, it gives you that idea of how things should be set up for him. And yeah, I really like those. And I think the important thing to establish here is that as that batter spinner shoe, it gives you what hopefully you need for those disciplines. But there are other options. Yep. So from an all-rounder's perspective, particularly a seam bowling all-rounder, there's going to be shoes with a slightly higher heel, a yep. little bit more in the mid plate foot to give you that real stability when you're hitting the crease. A yep. lot more supportive shoe for those seamers that need that impact um, support when, yep. when they're bowling. And likewise, for the bowler, for the pure out and out fast bowler, there is that bowler boot which straps you in and gives you that real support when you need it, yep. um, particularly through the crease. And there are other options as well, aren't there? So actually the generic cricket shoe from a lot of the cricket brands are there as well. And so it's about finding the right one that suits the customers. Yep. Um, again, trying those on, getting a fit, suit, comfort, what suits your game, I think is always important. Um, so I think we did that with you last year. I think you tried others on and, and found some of the other ones quite comfortable and still potentially an option for you. Yeah, so I tried the New Balance option and I tried the, uh, the Adidas option. A little bit tight for me and I didn't quite they didn't give me the same level of support and fit that I got from uh, from my painters. Um, so I've uh, I've ended up making a choice. And I think you have for the new season ahead, yes. having shown you a new range, I think you're you're all in, aren't you? I am. So just to showcase it, the XPF 22 from Painter yep. for 2023. Yes. Um, I think you essentially have gone fairly similar in like-for-like -like option to suit your disciplines. Nice variants on colour but yeah and, and the thing I particularly like when I tried them on is yes they're very comfortable and they maintain that I thought the toe box or sorry apologies the um, the lacing the lacing section was a lot tighter on these and I think with this particular variety it's a lot wider um, and I found I found that really really helpful I do like the feel and comfort of them I like the um, the spike flow to these, they have two at the back and, uh, and seven at the front. So for me, I quite like that. Um, and so overall, that was the reason why I went with that particular shoe. I really liked it. And I think it's safe to say, you've mentioned a few times in a number of videos, that wider foot option as well, isn't yeah. it? And I think that's something we find, again, from a lot of different brands. It's, it's trying on those shoes to get that comfort factor to suit your, your foot style and foot shape, isn't it? So this one's worked really well for you, but an Adidas and New Balance, a Gunner Moore, a Kookaburra is possibly going to work for, for other oh, players. It'll work for other people, yeah. Absolutely. Um, and, I'm, and I'm thinking, whilst these are, are in decent nick at the moment, they have had a year, year and a half, sorry, a good year's worth of use. Um, and I know, as a cricketer, that they are showing signs of, you know, little bits of signs of wear in the heel. I know that, and again on the, the, the heel strike there, I know that at some stage during the year, I'm going to need a new set of spikes. All I'm doing here right now is thinking ahead and going, they're really comfortable, I think I'm going to get those. So they go straight in my back. Plus, of course, Chris being a good salesman also told me that they do exactly the same shoe in a pimple. Now, because I'm a cricket coach and I'm on my feet a lot, 
I'm going to go outside and as you can see here in the cricket centre, we've got an AstroTurf floor. Those shoes work really, really well. Um, so, so I thought to myself, again, because as a customer, because Painter have a shoe that fits all of my needs, at some stage you have to think to yourself, am I going to buy them? And my thought was, yes. So I did, and I've put them in my kit bag too. Oh, well, I'm back with Virat and my MRF. Now I am going to keep this bag because, as you can see, it, you know, it's seen a bit of use, but we, we are still together and uh, we're doing all right. But I do need some other options. And of course, Chris did give me some other options. But the bat I like, this one, this MRF, has got a nice low middle. And I do like this particular shape as well, because it's got that little bit of a, a convex sort of curve at the back. And I like that. Um, but I know when I was reviewing the bats that I came up with a few of those too, didn't I? Absolutely, and I, I certainly wouldn't want to stand between you and Virat, but I think it's always important to highlight options. And I think exactly what you've just alluded to is the really important bit, particularly from a customer's perspective, is what suits you as a player. Yeah. You know, there are lots of profile choices to suit different pickups, balance points, swell spots. Uh, what's going to suit you in terms of your style of game, how you like to set up and feel at the crease. So it's always important to maintain that as a thought process to choose your bat. And as you've alluded to, this one works really well for you. You've, re you've reviewed a lot of bats this winter um, yeah. and through that process, you've probably showcased four or five that you felt really, really comfortable in and probably no shock that they're very similar in shape and feel to, to this one. Definitely, one of, and, and just to add to that, one of the other things that I've noticed whilst reviewing all the bats uh, has been the shorter blade, longer handle bats. And I think at some point, I, there's a really good chance I'm gonna go with one of those, because I really like that, and I really like that change of style. Uh, gives me a little bit more wood in, in the area that I like. Uh, so with Grey Nichols, I ended up with a wonderful Mega Power, and, of course, with Gun and Moore, it was the Brava. Kookaburra, we had the Beast. How could it not be? Um, uh, Chase was at the Volante. I didn't think I was going to go there, but I did. Um, and I think we did one other, didn't we? You did we? the New Balance and the DC right? The DC, oh yeah, I couldn't go wrong with DC. Steve Smith, wonderful shape. We've We've got a few other we've got a few other bats in the shop though. You better tell us about well, those because I did see them. Unfortunately, when I around. unfortunately, you haven't had a chance to review everything in the shop as yet. Darn it! Um, and it's and it's important to obviously showcase that we probably now stock around about ten or twelve brands. So five or six of them you've had to, had an opportunity Ooh, to use. That's a lot. But we actually then managed, managed on looking at your kit to get you in the shop and showcase you all the other brands that we've got access to at the moment. So I think you had a chance to look at World Class Willow, at Tarn, at CA, uh, at SG, lots of other choice. And there, again, there's some options there that I think suited your game in terms of shape and profile and feel. I like the CA. I thought that was very similar to this particular shape. There was, I did have another sneaky go at the MRF. The world-class Willow bats look so good. They really did. They look a super bats. And, I, and again, I like the SGA too, because maybe I'm just a traditionalist and like to <laughs> have a look at Sonny Gavaska. Um, but yeah, so there was lots of options there, and I, enjoy, I like those. And I think that's, and that's a really important point. You've already alluded to the fact that the bat is fine. Yep. It's going to get you through, hopefully, another season, score you lots more runs, and there isn't a necessarily a need to replace it right now. No, exactly. However, looking at what your options are, seeing what your choices are, if the worst was to happen, you know where you're going to go. Yeah, I've got a few options and that's really important because I know at some stage my bat is going to break. So guess what? <gasps> this one isn't and it hasn't. And in she goes to the kit bag. Close. I'm ready for the season. Well, I've got my kit bag for the season and I'm all set. Chris, thank you very much you're for welcome. your help, advice. It has been invaluable and of course, very educational and useful. If you liked of course, our video, which you did, please give us a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and of course, write a comment below. You might like the kit I've chosen, you might not. That would be very interesting. And the last but not least, we are gonna review this bit of kit all the way through the season, so look out for those videos. And if you need to, get in the shop, go and see Chris, get yourself sorted. And if you can't do that, get online at seriouscricket.co.uk.